Hi guys, welcome to the Tiger family. My name is Teresa. I upload every Friday, once a week. In this channel, you'll get to see everything beauty related, life updates, and all that jazz. So if you wanna know how I got this look right here, then please keep on watching. So, um, I am thinking that we're gonna do something green since St. Patrick's Day is around the corner. Uh, this is the only kind of green thing that I could find. I'm so glad that it's March and I'm so ready for the winter to be over. I do live in Michigan, so that's not gonna happen until probably like April. I am going to use the Morphe palette. I think this is the 35B. I haven't used this in so long, so I just wanted to get it out of my collection and do a look with it. And this is what it looks like. It is so pretty. I am gonna try out the e.l.f. Um, I think these are the like liquid shadows. Do my eyes first and I'm just using a eyeshadow primer and this is by e.l.f. I'm just putting a base color down. Are you guys doing anything for St. Patrick's Day? I am just gonna be home doing nothing, basically. So the Morphe palette doesn't have a transition shade. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's the first one that ever she came out with. Now going back to the 35B palette, I'm just gonna use a yellow shade in the crease. I haven't used this palette in so long, I forgot if it's even pigmented. I have never done a green eyeshadow look, so this will be very interesting. Seems to blend okay. I feel like it's just not blending in this area. Okay, now I'm gonna use a very light green eyeshadow in the crease. Is anyone's favorite color green? I used to not like green at all because, you know, nature, it's all green. But as I grew up, I learned to love it. I feel like it's so pretty, especially like forest green. It's so pretty. I feel like right now I look like Tinkerbell with the hair up and green eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go a little darker, only on the crease, kind of like stamping. I'm actually gonna take a more dense and tiny brush to pack that color in the crease. I'm gonna use this color over the lid actually. Cause why not, right? I love how you can just change your mind and makeup. Like if you don't like something in certain area, you can change it. And we're gonna take a deeper color in the crease. And I'm gonna use a very dense, thin brush. And I'm gonna just place that in the crease. As you can see, just packing it with the outer corner. And do 
just keeping it there. I know, this looks crazy, but trust the process. It's gonna look amazing. Especially when you're doing something colorful, usually the first thing is like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And then after that, it's like, oh, okay, now this looks better. After you do all of your makeup, it looks amazing. So now looking at it, these shadows are not that pigmented as I thought that they were going to be. I'm just blending everything up. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. glitter shadow. Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh. Look how pretty that is. I'm gonna just use this as an eyeliner. I love pop of color as an eyeliner. It just makes such a statement without in your face. So I'm just going to use a makeup wipe to wipe the excess away. If you're going to do with very colorful eyes, do eyes first because everything that falls, you can just kind of use a makeup wipe and wipe it away. For the face, we're going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Nude in the shade 7, 8, 10 Deep. Just taking it on the back of my hand. And then on the face. This is my current favorite foundation. What is y'all's current favorite foundation? Of course, don't forget the neck. I sometimes do. And then I go out and I'm like, oh, it's not blended. I would say this is like more of a medium coverage. Because if you see, I have some blemishes right here. And it doesn't really cover them. But it definitely evens out my skin tone. And my favorite concealer is the CoverGirl True Match Undercover Concealer. And this is in the shade T500 and Natural 10. I have not been able to put this concealer down ever since I got it. I'm just placing it where I have a little bit of darkness. Let me know what's y'all's favorite concealer. I would love to try it. I've also tried the e.l.f. Camel Concealer. It just was drying on my skin. You could see my fine lines, so. I haven't tried the hydrating one, so I can't speak for that one. The original one, I tried it and it was so dry. And then to bronze my skin, I'm gonna just use the NYX Bear With Me um, Tinted Skin Veil. I got the wrong color, so I'm just gonna use it on my skin as a contour. A little goes a long way, as you can see. So I always contour my nose first and then I highlight my nose. 
I just feel like it makes it look better. And then I'm also going to take it on my jaw. Perfect. Now I'm just going to put the concealer on the bridge of my nose to highlight it. And on my cupid bow. Okay, and I'm gonna do a cream blush. I'm using my favorite um, Elf Putty blush in the shade Bali. So I used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder to set everything and to powder my face. After that, I went with a dark eyeshadow and just smoked out the under eye. After that, I put a white eyeliner in the waterline and I used NYX Professional Makeup in the color Pure White. And because I want it to be still wearable, I'm going to just put mascara on and not falsies. I do recommend using two mascaras. Um, I'm using the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara and the Maybelline Lash Sensation. Do you guys have a favorite mascara? I use these two because it doesn't have any flakes or clump up. Now I am going with my second mascara. Now we're going to finish up the face, so I'm just going to layer my blush. So I'm just using the Essence um, blush in the color Beloved. And very light-handedly, I am placing the blush. These are very pigmented, so be careful. Now for highlighter, I'm just using the Wet n Wild um, highlighter powder in the shade Crown of My Canopy. Okay, now for the lip, I'm going to use the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Liner in the color Rose. I'm just going to use a lip gloss on top. I'm using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit High Shine Lipstick. This is in the shade 945B. Last but not the least, we got, we're going to place... I cannot speak today. Last but not the least, we're using the Maybelline Make It Last Original Spray. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do another green look. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.